Hi, it's Cayman Reynolds, and we are going to talk all about syrup in this video. I get this question all the time. What are the dilution ratios? Why do you use it? Advantages and disadvantages. So I'm going to break that down. I find syrup to be very helpful. So this is three more toasts that we just got from Kelly's, well, Man Lake up in Clarkson, Kentucky. This is their Pro Sweet product. So this stuff is almost as thick as honey. It is as thick as some honeys, and there's a lot of variables with honey, syrup, and other things. So Pro Sweet is a blend. It's sucrose, fructose, it has glucose in it, has other goodies and things like that. They're trying to mimic uh, honey and all that kind of thing. However, one of the things that I love about it the most is how easy it is to mix. So those of you who have made two to one from like cane sugar or beet sugar from Wally World, you, you mix the ratio right, two parts sugar, one part water by weight, and then the sugar just comes right out of suspension. And it all falls down to the bottom of the bucket or the jar or whatever, and it just has a hard time staying suspended in that much water. And I've, I think part of it is the water that you have too, and we'll heat it really piping hot. We have to almost get it to boiling temperature for it to really get in there and stay in there fairly decent. A little bit of acid, like citric acid, can help as well. However, that's a big pain in the rear end, especially if you're doing a lot of volume. So with syrup, you don't have to do that. When they started making syrups like sucrose syrups, fructose syrups, all of these syrups, they learned how to do that from bees. Bees have an enzyme, invertase, um, I believe I'm pronouncing that correctly, and in the bee's honey crop, as they bring in that nectar and then pass that from bee to bee, that enzyme gets into that nectar and helps invert things, and then of course it makes it easier for it to for the water to hold more sugar content. So that's exactly what they have done. They have synthesized um, the enzyme and they make syrups based off of what humans learn from bees. And there's a lot of advantages in cooking and uh, distillery and all kinds of stuff to having thick syrups. But as beekeepers who are feeding our bees that need more food, uh, syrups can be really advantageous too. So one of the things I'd like to point out is making our own pollen patties with syrup like this, it's just like honey in the fact that it's hygroscopic. That means it actually will bring moisture into it as opposed to drying out. So patties that are made with granulated sugar have a big tendency to dry out like a pop tart over time. It's, we have to combat that with oil and sometimes gelatin and other things to try to keep those patties from drying out. You don't have to do that when you use syrup. And now I'm going to leave a link right here where we make our pollen patties with this syrup. And it's really easy to make. And the bees love it. It's, it's just quick, super simple to mix up. So that's one of the reasons. But also, we don't have any issues mixing two to one or thick uh, feeds and having any of the sugar come out of suspension when it's already inverted like this it mixes with water very quickly and easily and just it stays right in there now if you'll come over here for a second i've got some in this jar honey ranges between mid 70s you know give or take a little bit and as far as solids go to as much as 84 83 give or take a little bit in solids and obviously there's water content same thing with this syrup as well pro sweet ranges between about 75 to 77 percent solids and this syrup is very hot with the heat index it's about i'd say 100 degrees and there's a lot of pressure up on top of this as well but this is very thick if this was in the house it would be very slow moving and this is a this is a nice looking um, feed right here very light thin. you don't want to store these things if you can avoid it for years on time because just like honey they degrade in heat and just long-term storage yes honey does degrade over time it's still edible for humans but for bees it's a different story now why would we not feed it just like it is as it is why would we dilute it down we use a pump that is um, one of those trash pumps that you see. Well, hang on just one second. It's just right over here. Might as well grab it. So this is just a trash pump from Harbor Freight. 
and you can get Hondas, you can get all kinds of things, and we have a video where we're going through our bee yards, and typically we're feeding one to one in summer, two to one going into winter. Again, this syrup makes it very easy to mix two to one, and this pump can handle that. It cannot handle, this type of pump cannot handle um, viscous syrups like this that are not diluted down, so it can't handle 77% solids. But just dropping it down to two to one, it handles it just fine, and this makes it really easy to mix, and we also can pump it through a hose into each feeder going throughout the yard, so that's super handy. One of the other reasons we don't feed it as it is, it's not that you can't, but bees don't prefer it as much. Bees also don't prefer honey near as much as they do nectar, and that's the same way it is with syrup. They don't like it near as much when it's thick like this versus when it's diluted down. I don't know 100% of the reasons why. I have a couple theories. One of them is nectar's that way. They, bees never go out and fly and find a flower that has honey thick food. There is a big difference in the ratios of sugars and, and water content in nectars. Some being more alkaline, some being more acidic, some having you know 30% sugar content, some having not even a fraction of that. So there's a lot of variables when it comes to nectar, but it's never 77% solids. I also think though, there's a big advantage as I've learned from some of my um, colleagues like Bob Benny, who has told all of us about how when bees bring in nectar and there's enough of the right proteins available, that hydrogen peroxide is created. And this also does happen when we feed thin syrups is part of the reason why beekeepers like myself totally disagree with the whole theory that feeding bees is bad for them because we don't see anything like that. We actually find that bees that we feed at a high level perform at a high level. Bees aren't like humans. Sugar deprives us and strips minerals from our bodies. For honeybees, it is a source of energy. Now is this stuff as good as nectar? I don't think so. Is it better than not having any food coming in? which is what we're, we've had for the last month and we'll continue to have for about two more months? I, I, I don't think so. So, I mean, obviously this is better than nothing at all. But having it thick like that, we can set this syrup out thick and then we can have it set out where it's one to one or two to one. They will wear out the one to one, then the two to one, and then if there's nothing else, they'll go for this. But they'll almost completely ignore this while there's one to one and two to one present. Very interesting. I think the bees know something that we don't, and maybe they, they're aware that if they bring that in and ripen it up, that hydrogen peroxide that's created is going to clean out the combs, clean out the bees' guts, and get the pathogens reduced down. So there's a lot of reasons I like to use um, syrup versus granulated sugar. Um, obviously, there's price points. This cost me 39 cents a pound buying all three of these totes. Now I think it would have been 39 cents had I just purchased one of these or maybe one and a half of these. However, I can go to Wally World and I think right now for about 45, 48 cents somewhere in there get granulated sugar, which is also a good bee feed. However, you're like, well, that, this is a lot cheaper for you. It kind of is, but the way gas prices are right now, driving almost th you know, three hours up there and then back, I, I'm not sure how much I'm actually saving. But I think it at least breaks even for me and it saves me a lot of time with mixing. It stores good in these totes and whereas if I got pallets of sugar, I have to use them fairly quickly or store them really well so they won't dry and, uh, it's not dry, but harden up and turn into like almost sugar bricks in the bag. So there's just a, there's a lot of variables when it comes to using syrup and all this kind of stuff. But I personally enjoy it and like it very much. And if you have any questions, leave them below. I'm going to do a live chat tonight, 7 p.m. Central Time. I hope to see you there. And if you have questions about syrup, you can ask me during the live chat. Or if you have any other questions regarding bees, I love talking about bees. Thanks for watching this video, and we will see you in the next one.